Good Friday morning, everybody. I just dropped Brantley off at school. I hear you, monkey. Yeah, we hear you. Yeah. He wants milk. So, he can have a whole bowl full of water and of food, and he just wants milk. He's old, and he likes milk, so. That's why he's always crying. But it's Friday. Brantley gets um, a longer weekend because of Labor Day. And I'm not for sure if I'm going to work Monday or not. It's up to my customers whether they're home. I know one is out of town, so she may still let me come to her house. Um, and then the other one, I've got to find out if she wants to reschedule or not. Um, today, we're supposed to go um, look for some Georgia shirts because the game is on tomorrow. Um, and that's something that we do every year is get, you know, new shirts. And I can't believe that we haven't even went and gotten any yet. Um, so we're supposed to do that today. And then, um, that's really all that's going on. I know tomorrow I want to clean up really good and figure out what we're going to do for the game as far as like food wise. Robert had mentioned, um, doing a brisket, but... He also mentioned that he had wanted to get Buffalo Wild Wings, so I don't know which one we're going to do. Probably get Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, and I want to get my fall stuff put out. I want to do so much stuff. So much. And it's like, oh, I never have enough time. Or if I do have the time, I, I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to be lazy and sit around. So, um, I'm excited for the Georgia game. If anybody's watching the game this weekend, let me know. Right there. Go dogs. Right there. We love Georgia. Um, so, yes. And then, you know, I want to get some moms and stuff to decorate the porches and stuff with like I do every year. But I want to wait. Today, the, the weather is nice. And I believe it's because of the hurricane that's coming in. So, it's bringing like a cooler front and I want to pray for everybody you know with this hurricane hopefully it doesn't um do anything but um yeah so that's all but I want to get mums right now because last year I think I got them early or the year before I can't remember and they just started dying because of the heat which I know it's still going to probably be hot by the time I do want to get them but I'm going to try to wait a little bit longer. I've seen some people having them out in stores and stuff. But they're small. And I really do like the bigger ones. But, of course, they're expensive. But, who knows. Um, we'll figure it out. So, I hope y'all have a great Friday. And I will catch you guys after I get off of work. All right, we're eating uh, some Mexican food for dinner. We still haven't found our Georgia shirts. Is it good? What'd you get? Two tacos? <laughs> All right. Is that your karate moves that you learned? What is it? And look, dipping this and this is so good. Best way to eat them. Good? You got your two tacos. Taco loco. Chicken and rice. And salad. Have you tried your taco? Have you tried your taco? Is it good? Yum. Okay. We enjoy it. Hey y'all, we're home. We went and ate Mexican and came home. We went to um, a place over here to look for some Georgia shirts. Can't talk. Um, and we couldn't find any. So, Brantley's got a ring pop. It's a special one, and it says like blueberry, and look at my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> We're just fixing the liquid. Yeah. Um, so, 
We're gonna try another place tomorrow because they were already closed. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna clean up, maybe try to get some of this fall stuff out and um, get, our, get all of our uh, stuff ready for the game tomorrow night. I don't know what else. I know Robert said he was gonna be cutting grass tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be a nice um, day. Today um, was a lot cooler this morning and then it got up to like 93, but not so humid. So it's been nice. Um, but yeah, I may, I want to make some pumpkin bread tomorrow morning. So I don't know if I'm gonna do all that, but <laughs> I, like, I wanna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And, and I start like, oh, I can't do all this stuff in one day, but I'm gonna try. And I also got another craft that I want to make as well. Um, super, super, super cute. Um, and you can keep it out all year. Look what we got. Oh. Yeah, we don't even use it anymore. Come help me, mommy. We don't even use it anymore. Oh, them a lot. They know how baby gate works. I used, to have, I used to put that up so when I was cooking and had food and stuff up on the counter, Georgia would stop her from coming in here because she would always try to come in here and jump on, or not jump on the counter, but jump, on, you know, and try to get it off. But that's all we got going on uh, this evening. Just going to hang out and relax the rest of the evening. So I'll let you guys know if we do anything else. Get set. Go. He's earning some money to pick up that trash that got shredded in the yard. Brantley's in the lead. He's getting the most trash. He's going to get $5 for picking up all that trash. Robert said a dollar. I said no, I'll give him Good job, bud. Keep getting the rest of it up. No, don't make a mess with it. No. All right, go get the rest of it up. Good morning, everybody. I'm making some pumpkin bread. Now, this is not homemade. Um... I just got done cleaning up the house and I wanted to put this in the oven real quick before I jumped in the shower so this is just a box from the grocery store I did buy a can of pumpkin or canned pumpkin so I can make some homemade but um, I didn't feel like getting together all of the stuff so sometime maybe next week or something um, I think I do have a pumpkin bread recipe that I made last year on my channel. If I don't, then I definitely will make one. But like I said, this is just a real quick boxed one um, that I'm making real quick just so we can have some. And I added some ground cinnamon to it. And then I've toasted up some um, chopped pecans so I can put those on the top. So this is only going to make just one loaf and the recipe that I make normally makes three loaves or a bunch of mini loaves. So we're just going to do this one for now. That way I can have some pumpkin bread. So I'm just going to put this in my loaf pan. I've already, um, well, I need to do it again. Got stuck on here. All right, let me put this down for just a second. 
and I'll scrape that got stuck on the little mixer blade okay so we're going to pour this into our loaf pan and bake it at 375 for maybe an hour we'll see how it goes and that's what we're going to do so um like i said i think i do have my pumpkin bread recipe that i made last year um if not we will update it and make one okay so we got it in our loaf pan now i'm gonna take some of these chopped pecans and throw them on the top you can do um walnuts whatever you like But I like having, um, I like it plain too, but I just really like having that little crunch on the top of it. So, we're going to get this in the oven, bake this for about an hour. I'll show it to you when um, we pull it out. I've never tried this boxed pumpkin bread before, so I don't know exactly how it's going to be. I know it's not going to be as good as homemade, but um, I definitely will be making some homemade um, here soon. So, we're going to get this in the oven, and I'll show it to you when we're done. Alright, y'all. There is our yummy pumpkin bread. Mm, I tasted one of the toasted pecans, and it's so good. It tastes like pecan pie. So, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll take it out and um, cut it. We're fixing to um, get ready to go see if we can find us one of our, our Georgia shirt. So Robert just got done with the yards. Um, I got the house clean. I got pumpkin bread made. So here in a little bit, we're gonna go uh, right over and see to another store that we normally get our shirts from, but we didn't go over there yesterday because it's about a 30 minute drive, which is not far, but after working and I had to go run an errand that was like 30 minutes away, the opposite way, I didn't feel like riding all the way over there. So, and plus the traffic over there is really bad. So, um, we're going to go do that in a little bit and then stop by Buffalo Wild Wings and pick up some wings. And I'll make the chicken dip. And I may make some brownies because Robert's been wanting um, some brownies. So, I may make those. We're not sure yet. So, yeah, we're going to get dressed and... This is my night shirt. Like, I always like to sleep in this shirt because it's real um, long and baggy. Um, so, I'm going to go get dressed and see if we can go find a new Georgia shirt. And then get watching this game tonight. What is wrong with that? Okay. So, I hope y'all are having a great Saturday. And go dogs. Look at there. Hello guys. This is my friend. His name is Bobby. Bobby? Yeah, I'm cold, I'm cold. Hey y'all, we are sitting in the car. Robert ran into Buffalo Wild Wings to pick up our wings for tonight. And Brantley wants some. McDonald's and I'm getting a 20 pack chicken nugget. <laughs> He said he wants twenty a twenty piece, so that way he can and have I some there later. Was a pack. Yeah, he's like, do they have a hundred pack? I want that one. If We've got our shirts, if, so I'll show you that when we get home. And what? If they had a trillion pack, I would get that. You crazy boy? Yeah, it'll fill up the whole entire house. <laughs> That's how many of them you want. You silly. All right, so we're just waiting on uh, Robert to get back out to the car, yeah, and then we're going to go. I know why it's taking long, because they went to go kill a chicken. <laughs> I said, what are they doing in there, killing the chickens? So he should be out um, and here just soon. Just a little bit soon. Yeah. A little bit soon. Yep, we're waiting. We've been waiting, so... Which, we placed the order, like, when we were, like, five, seven minutes away. So, of course, um, it wasn't ready yet. 
But anyways, that's what we're doing right now. And then uh, we're going to go buy and pick up Brantley's McDonald's. And then we're going home. So I'll see you guys then. And I'll show you our Georgia shirts that we picked up. Hey guys, I'm putting some of these little Smokies in. I'm going to do about a cup. I'm just eyeballing it. The barbecue sauce. Now with my meatballs, I do the chili sauce. And I've done the chili sauce with these as well. But today we're going to do the barbecue sauce. Okay. Now I'm going to put in some grape jelly. I gotta spoon it in here with one hand. Ah, ah, dropping it. All right. So, with the grape jelly, I'm probably gonna do about a cup and a half, maybe. And then once it starts melting down, and um, we can mix it in and I see the consistency of it, then I'll see whether or not I need any more. But I think for that it should be good. So now I've got it on high, I'm just going to pop my lid on it and let that cook until everything starts um, melting together and I'll bring you back and show you that. We also got our buffalo wild wings here. Here is my, get it open, my Asian zing right there. And then Robert got lemon pepper and habanero, mango habanero. So, and then I'm going to make some buffalo chicken dip. And I also found this little party um, party mix that we'll have. And that's what we're going to have for our football tonight. And then there is our pumpkin bread. It's completely cool now, so I'm going to take it out in a few minutes. I left it there while we left. Oh, and also, um, I already said it, buffalo chicken dip. Okay. Right here is our shirts that we got. This one I got for me. And Brantley got this one. And then Robert got this one. And then it has AJ Green's name on the back. And that is our Georgia shirts that we got today. Hey y'all. fixing to um, put my buffalo chicken dip together so I can have it ready. Oop, you all right, Jazzy? She just bumped right into me. Um, so I can have it ready to throw in the oven. So I'm going to be using one can of chicken. I'm going to drain this juice out real quick. I'm getting everything ready. We got a few dark clouds here, like we may get a little bit of rain, but it may pass over. It was only like a 20% chance. Alright, so one block of cream cheese, and I know I've made this a lot, a lot of times on my channel, so I know y'all have this recipe, but um, if you can't remember it or you want to know it again, we got it. And what I love about having like all this food is um, tomorrow, because it will get eaten. All this finger food type stuff. I, I like to do this a lot during football season because with the dips and the wings and the little smokies and picking the blankets and all those type of things, we'll eat on those um, for days. Also, I cut a piece of my pumpkin bread and just to let you guys know it's delicious so if you want to buy that boxed one go for it 
I will be making some homemade ones because I do like to um, give them out to people that like pumpkin bread. So, and that recipe makes a lot more. I, I have a mini loaf that has like maybe nine or 12 little mini loaves in it. And I like to make those. So you can like double that batch and make six big loaves and a bunch of mini, or three big loaves and then a bunch of mini loaves. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mixer over here because I like to kind of um, put this canned chicken in there and mix it up real good first because it kind of breaks the chicken down because they're in big chunks and I like it to be broken up, which you could do it with a fork. I'll just do it with a fork. Sorry, y'all. I had to grab this bowl real quick. So, I know y'all can't see me. Or see this. But the canned chicken comes in big chunks. So, take your fork and just kind of mash it up and it'll break it up to more like it's shredded instead of big old chunks. And my cream cheese is softened, so you need to soften it because if it's hard as a brick, it's not gonna mix together. So if you haven't been able to let it sit out, to come to room temperature to soften up, you can always pop it in the microwave and just do like little 30 second intervals. That way you don't melt it, melt it, but you just get it softened up to where it'll mix. Okay, so now the chicken is just like shredded. So we've got that. Now I need to grab We're going to throw in our softened block of cream cheese. I thought I heard somebody. And we're going to just kind of, I'm just mixing that up in that chicken real quick. Because I should have got a bigger bowl. That's why I like doing it in that mixer because just whip it all up at one time. Okay, we didn't completely mix in. I just kind of mashed it down in the chicken for now. Just to get the other ingredients in. Now I'm gonna add some ranch. I do not measure anything. So, I'm just pouring it into whatever I like, but you can always look up the recipes. So that was one can of chicken, one block of softened cream cheese, and I say that's maybe three fourths of a cup of ranch. And I may add more, just depends on how it looks after I mix it all together. And doing it in the crock pot um, is really good as well. You can bake it or do it in the crock pot. Baking it, you get that kind of cheese crust layer on top of it. And in the crock pot, you don't. So it's just, just a dip. I like it both ways. I really like it without the layer of the cheese on top. But if you do it in the microwave, I mean, if you do it in the oven and you don't want that layer of cheese on top, you don't have to sprinkle cheese on the top of it when you get ready to bake it. And while it's baking, just take it out a couple times and like stir it up and it won't have that cheese layer on top if you don't want that. I like it, but I like it better too in the crock pot. 
You just throw everything in there and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more of that ranch. So maybe a cup. Like I said, you don't have to um, go by what I'm saying. You could always look on Pinterest or Google or YouTube and look at the recipes that other people have. So now I'm using, oh, and this is the ranch that I used right here. And now I'm using red hot wing sauce. So this, probably a quarter of a cup. And that's also to your liking how hot or spicy you want it to be. And to me, it's a little too light. So I'm gonna add, this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So maybe a half a cup for us. I kinda remember, you know, what color ours are supposed to look like. I'm gonna pour everything in. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to add some shredded cheese. And I'm going to add about three-fourths of a cup of shredded cheese. Mix all that in. Now, um, I'm putting mine in a Pyrex glass um, dish, and I did spray it because it does like to stick after it bakes, and it just makes the cleanup better, so I just like to spray mine down. All right. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to pop it in my dish here and save it to be baked. You know, I've seen some people eat it cold, like a cold dip, but to me it tastes a whole lot better when it's hot. Popping hot. All right, spread it out. And now I'm just gonna um, cover it up with some foil, which you bake it uncovered, but I'm not gonna bake it until it gets closer to the game. That way it'll be hot. That's it. 350 for maybe 25, 30 minutes just till it's all bubbly and done. But there it is. And you can dip whatever you want to in it. You can dip vegetables in it. You can dip, um, we do tortilla chips. You can do corn chips. Um, whatever you want to do. Completely up to you and your liking. Okay, so I think that's all the food we're going to have. I'm not going to do the brownies. It just depends. Right now, I'm not going to do them, but it, things could change. I have not gotten any of my fall stuff out, so I may wait on that until either tomorrow or things could change as well, and I could end up going down there later and pulling some stuff out out the basement, out of the tote. So if I do, of course, I will bring y'all along and show you. But right now, I think this is it until um well it's three o'clock so we we'll see what happens but um i hope y'all are having a great saturday if you are watching football today or tonight comment below what your favorite team is and um i will talk to you guys soon you're jumping don't lean on that you're gonna break it
That was a good flip. Don't let it touch you. Ah, oh, it got daddy. All right, y'all. I wanted to pop on here real quick and go ahead and tell y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a great evening i'm gonna get this video uploaded real quick for y'all so it's not too late when it goes up because the georgia game is gonna be coming on in about 45 minutes so um we're gonna go ahead and get ready for that and i love you guys thank y'all so much for watching make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button hit that notification bell that way you are notified every time we upload so go dogs